And Maryland is also remembering the 9-11 attacks with tributes across the state. WJZ's live tonight. Stetson Miller has more on how the victims are being honored. Stetson. Hey, Max. Well, just a few hours ago, dozens gathered here in Parkville to honor the 9-11 victims and fallen soldiers. Many said it was definitely a difficult day, but one that we should never forget. are paying tribute to remember the thousands who lost their lives on 9-11 and those that fought to protect our nation and freedom. In Baltimore County, firefighters, police, and motorcyclists rode along Putty Hill Avenue to pay their respects and told the Maryland 9-11 Rolling Memorial Bell to honor the 69 people from Maryland who were killed that day and the 158 people killed at war. We wanted to honor those who made the sacrifice since 9-11 and remember those that were killed on 9-11. In Ricerstown, Governor Larry Hogan, Senator Ben Cardin, and members of the Maryland National Guard took a moment to remember the fallen heroes who fought in the War on Terror and the Iraq War. Remembering the people who died on 9-11, remembering all of our far fallen heroes, all the families that have been impacted, and reflect on all the service and sacrifice over the past 20 years. I think it's critically important, and that's why we do these ceremonies every year. It's an especially difficult day for Baltimore City Police Captain Guy Thacker, who was one of the 20 members of the department who went to help with the search and rescue mission at Ground Zero after the attacks. It was immense, the, the scope and the magnitude of the destruction from just uh, the first time you see that up close, uh, very profound. And dozens came together in the evening at the Parkville Shopping Center for a candlelight vigil where organizers read the names of 9 11 victims and fallen soldiers. Harold P. Fisher, age 57, Pentagon. And the organizers of this event are also hosting a 9-11 exhibit tomorrow in Middle River. You can find out more about it by heading to our website, WJZ.com. We're live in Parkville, Stetson Miller for WJZ.